Should you mulch with cardboard? This is becoming a very popular thing to do in the garden, and I don't think it's a good idea. Here's why. The idea of using cardboard to keep weeds down comes from this use of sheet mulching. Now, sheet mulching is great for getting rid of weeds in a new garden or taking a lawn and converting it to a new garden. In that first year, the combination of paper, cardboard or newspaper, and some mulch on top or some organic matter or some soil on top, that works really well to kill that existing vegetation. Now we're in the second year or third or fourth year and people say, hey, it worked so well the first year. Why not keep using this cardboard? Well, here's why it's a bad idea. First of all, it adds very little value to the garden. There are no nutrients in cardboard. It doesn't do anything for earthworms like a lot of people claim. It contains some carbon, which is good for soil, but there's better ways to add that carbon, which I'll tell you about in a second. The cardboard itself sheets water. So when it rains, it doesn't get into the soil underneath. So if this cardboard is sitting beside existing plants, those roots now have trouble getting moisture. That's one of the big downsides of using this material. Again, the way people tend to use this is to put the cardboard down and put some mulch on top. Well, I have news for you. Leave the cardboard out and just use the mulch. The mulch is what contains the nutrient. The mulch holds moisture in the soil, keeps it from evaporating. But when it rains or you irrigate, water does percolate through that mulch. But if you have a layer of cardboard underneath, it doesn't get through. If you want to keep weeds down in an existing garden and you want to build up the health of that soil, skip the cardboard and just use the mulch. To learn more about how to mulch properly in a garden, have a look at this video right here.